triggers are is something external. Now it can be experience, a person, or a situation that produce a very uncomfortable emotional reaction on us. Um, now, what is interesting is that when we eat emotionally, there's a chain of reactions. Meaning, so imagine this, this chain as starting with something external. So an experience, a personal situation, something that causes this uh, uncomfortable emotional reaction. Let's say there's a sit specific situation that caused you to feel anxious. So that, that was your, there was the anxiety there for you the re as a reaction. And because you're anxious, anxious, all they want to do was to eat. So you see there's three parts in this chain of triggers. There's the external factor, there's the internal factor, and there's the emotional eating, the, the eating itself. So what causes us to eat? This is important to understand. What causes us to, to eat are not the external triggers. What causes us to eat emotionally are our internal triggers, as we have the three parts of this chain here. So there's something external, it triggers a feeling in us, and because of these feelings, we trigger the eating. So it's a chain of triggers. And I think this is um, important to know why, because it's very empowering. It's very empowering and it helps us to take responsibility of our actions. So when we understand that we, we are eating because we are feeling somehow anxiety or fear, worry or stress or whatever it is for you, it's empowering because it puts the, 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 the power, the responsibility in our hands, okay, that's me so if it's within my inner wor world i can do something about it and i can do something about it now i cannot change the external factor and i cannot depend on something external to change in order for me to solve my own problems to solve uh, my e emotional eating so it's all internal so what we're going to talk in this class is how to process um, with some yogic techniques these internal emotional triggers that leads us to eat right so let me know in the comments if you are if you have any questions along this class and yeah I'm very excited <coughs> to talk about this because these are triggers that I hear over and over and over and over again and it's how to put everything together here in a simple way to give you a quick quick thing to do they're not complicated they're very simple and then you can start to feel the difference here so triggers exist because we don't have the structure to handle our emotions we don't have and when i say structure i'm talking about uh, a physiological strength more specifically our nervous system is not prepared to handle that stress which is that that manifests as the that feeling of anxiety of fear of word of stress of boredom of being you know um tired so we have that psychological and physiological overwhelm happening in our body and because there's no we don't know what to do with it and this happening in an unconscious level we don't know what to do with it our body doesn't know what to do with, with it so it screams for something external which is the food so we act with reactions so when we learn how to process our emotions and the triggers it starts slowly to vanish 